After a battle in the ICU, Otsego Mayor Cindy Trobeck died this week. For months, she had been fighting a disease that was a mystery to doctors. We now know what it was. News Ace Byron Tolleson spoke with West Michigan doctors about this rare illness, all new tonight at 7. Byron, what can you tell us? Michelle, we now know she died of Creutzfeldt Jakob disease. It's an extremely rare, always fatal illness. It took doctors months to diagnose her with this disease. And the problem with this is that it's so rare that there are a lot of other explanations for some of the symptoms that someone might present with that uh, this is going to be way down on the list of possibilities. It came out of nowhere when Mayor Cindy Trobeck started losing her vision last December. It just all happened so incredibly quickly that it was hard to wrap your mind around. Her condition rapidly deteriorated as she suffered tremors, seizures, and dementia. The mayor was transferred to the ICU, requiring a ventilator and a feeding tube. She died Monday morning at the age of 63. Is a uh usually a very catastrophic and rapidly progressing disease once um, uh, the diagnosis is clear. Dr. Nicholas Lannon, a Spectrum Health Neurology Specialist unaffiliated with the case, says her neurodegenerative disorder was likely sporadic, happening for no apparent reason. So there's some that occur just randomly, um, just for a spontaneous reason. That's called spontaneous Creutzfeldt Jakob, and that's thought to be the most common type, like 80 to 85 percent are that type. Some cases are inherited. Doctors say another type is infectious, similar to mad cow disease. That is less than 1% of cases. It comes from eating infected meat. They're all under the same uh, sort of um, uh, classification, what we call prion diseases, right? So those misfolded proteins. Uh, so, so it is true that they're all kind of in the same family. Uh, but the, the type of, uh, uh, of prion disease that affects humans tends to be different than that of mad cow. Doctors say getting the illness from meat is extremely unlikely. It's certainly possible to get the transmissible form uh, from cows, uh, but that's something that hasn't happened for a very long time now uh, since there are like really, uh, really good guidelines and things in place um, uh, from, from meat factories. Extremely negligible. Um, we have um, highly regulated food industries here in the United States that are always on the lookout. Her case, I'm sure, will be reported to the Center for Disease Control that will investigate and make sure that there is not a concern for an uh, infectious cause. But most likely, um, based off the information I have, it sounds like it's likely a sporadic form. The CDC says this affects one in every million people. This isn't something that I would lose sleep over. This is so rare that uh, it's exceptionally unlikely that uh, you're going to develop it. Dr. Lannon says the sporadic version of this disease happens later in life, typically in someone's 70s or 80s. 90% of patients die within a year, although some have beaten the odds and lived longer.